you're gonna see a sign, and that sign is gonna point you towards doing something that makes a real difference. So this is really fun. And I think one of the greatest things is it's, it's kind of showing a really good message to um, younger audiences. Absolutely. Could you kind of talk about that in terms of this movie? That was one of the things that drew me to the movie, the fact that there are young people, because there seems to be among young people an aversion to listening to people my age and, and you know, and older people. And so to have this message come through from young people, from their own generation, I think is going to be a plus for this movie and for the world, depending how many people you know, take up the idea. And some of the, the ways that they're giving back is so sweet. Um, yeah. I know that they, you know, helped out at a retirement home and a hospital. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And so what a great thing for, you know, I've got little kids and you want them to learn those same kind of lessons about how mm -hmm. life is more important to help other people. Yes. Um, so, now, this must have been something that you wanted to be a part of because of those messages. And I know um, you've got a faith yourself. Um, can you kind of expand on that? Well, absolutely. Um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a part of it. it, it one of the things that drew me to the movie, and especially, as I said, because it's young people and them being able to hear from people their own age, you know, that this is this is cool. You know, they don't want to know what's cool. You know, so so for young people their age to be saying this is cool, this is a cool thing to do, um, this is something we all should be doing, this is something that that gives back to you as you're giving, um, it's it's a good thing, and it's something that's so very very much needed now because somewhere between my generation and this new generation, that got lost. Well, we're an age where we're behind our computers and we're, you know, behind our phones. Right. And so the personal being personal with people is much better. You know, yeah, it is. It absolutely is. And it's 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 so much more fun. It's so much more exciting. It's so much more enriching. Yes. And, you know, younger audiences learning from older audience, you know, older people and mm -hmm. and that kind of dynamic. And so there are some really good themes in the movie about that. Um, and also, you know, hearing and seeing signs from God. Um, you've had an amazing career. Um, have there been points that you felt like this is a sign from God to go in a, a certain direction or not? Or yeah. Absolutely. A, num a number of, of changes. Uh, one very specific um, sort of a jolt that came to me from God when years ago, right after I will survive, I was riding high on I will survive. And my, <clears throat> my ex-husband and I had given a party in our suite in a hotel in L.A. And we'd invited these people. And long story short, I was about to indulge in drugs because I felt that if I didn't, my husband was going to be left with all these women and I was going to be asleep because I didn't I was indulging. And as I was about to do it, God literally grabbed me in my in my collar like this and said, that's enough. Yeah. And I was visibly shaken, went, got to the bathroom as quickly as I could, closed the door. And I was standing there shaking, realizing that, yeah, God had had, had really sort of jacked me up. <laughs> he has and, to really uh, get I, you, right? Like he has to really, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. And so I, I left the bathroom and went into the bedroom and stayed there until everybody was gone. Actually, until the next morning. And I don't remember, even remember who those people are. But it just made me know that I need to do something different. I may, need to make some changes in my life. You know, I had to really go a different way. So I sat down in my house, uh, grabbed a, a Bible that someone had given me thinking I was religious. And I'm like, I wasn't thinking about that Bible, but I had it when, it when I needed it. And so I took it, blew the dust off of it, <laughs> sat down with it. I was like, okay, God, show Tammy, who is this Jesus person? And he said, open the book. And I opened it. And on one side of the page was a list of prophecy of the forthcoming Messiah that would save us from our sins. And the other side of the page was a list of scriptures showing how Christ had fulfilled those prophecies. 
I was done. I was so done. I was crying. I was penitent. I was, but long story, longer story short, I've been following you ever since, ever since never regretting a moment, always just so grateful, just ever so grateful. And what are the, me to the wolves. That's an amazing testimony, really, because we're so, you know, you had all the success in the world, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't the peace that God provides you, right? It wasn't the the joy and, and the ultimate, you know, comfort from God. And so exactly. you didn't realize that until you, you know, opened the Bible and yeah. found that. That's yeah. a beautiful testimony. Yeah. So how does it make you feel when you get to do, you know, faith projects, projects that are kind of proclaiming this type of thing? I feel I, it makes me feel great because it's my opportunity to pay it forward, you know, and I'm really, really hoping that people see this film and take away from the from it, how enriching it is to your life when you give away. I stand in awe of a God who gives you gifts, talents, and abilities with which to bless other people. And yet as you're doing it, you literally become more blessed than they are. It is, it's, it's incredible. It's amazing. And it's wonderful. And your role, can you talk a little bit about your role in this movie? Well, I play the part of a doctor (laughs) and they asked me if I wanted to name myself. And I was like, oh yes. So I named myself Dr. Portier because um, Sydney Portier, who I greatly admired had just passed away Mm -hmm. when I received this role. So that's why I took that name. And um, it's just, it was a wonderful opportunity and I'm just, so excited for the film to come out and for people to see it and gain from it how we really need to begin to share and care. You know, stop being so self-indulgent and self-absorbed, you know, because life, your life is so much enriched when you care for other people, when you share with other people. It kind of reminds you that, in, or my mother used to say, if you're sharing, it's obviously because you have more than you need. For yourself and we all have something we can share you the answer to our prayers and you saved her life your prayers would be appreciated we have a mission in this world that mission is to